At Ellis Brigham, we take ski testing really seriously, and this involves two different ski tests. The first one is done early in the season. Everything's put through its paces and compared, we make the decisions what we're going to stock. Later on in the season, we bring staff out to Austria. Here, the staff test all the skis that we've decided to go in the range. This means we can make sure we've made all the correct decisions, but it also means that when you come into any of our stores, the staff there can give you personal advice. They know exactly how the ski skis because they've been on them. Okay, so this is a ski I actually, I really love this and you can see from the looking at it, it's got a great shape. It's nice and wide in the shovel, really helps to float in the powder. And I guess the, the clue's in the name really, so it's 99 underfoot, so it's nice and wide, super floaty in the powder. You can see we're here in Pila today and it's pretty hot, so no one's trying them out. But I tried this out in Score in the States and absolutely blew my mind in the needy powder out there in Score. Level-wise, they probably do need to be that sort of advanced to expert level, looking for a, a true sort of free ride um, ski, really, Mark. Yeah. Here we go. Where do we begin? It's like your favourite pizza. There's everything in here. So we've got a full wood core, new lightweight poplar core this year. We've got some sexy stuff going on in the tip here. We've got CFX Super Fiber, which is really good at absorbing shocks and vibrations. So I need as much help as I can get when I'm hooning down the piece. Little cork inserts. So uh, cork is incredibly good at absorbing shocks and vibrations. And because it's no longer used in bottling wine, there's a surplus of it. So we're chucking it in our skis for extra uh, dampening. So the feedback uh, we've been getting from testers, listen, I'm clearly gonna, gonna, gonna see the good news, but the good news is it just keeps coming at me. We tested this, as I said earlier, in Squaw Valley. This is a, an upgraded ski from the previous years and the feedback was that we've upped the performance of the ski, definitely feel the uh, better uh, absorption of shocks through the tip. People are liking the new wood core, they're feeling it's giving it real rebound and spring and people, you know, it's, people are coming back with big smiles on their faces saying it works not only, here's the thing for you, not only in powder where it should work, but if you need to get around on the piste, it is totally at home on the piste as well. So don't just pigeonhole it as a, as a free rider, but know that it will do what it needs to do when you really want it to work. Hey, I'm Simon from the Fort William store. I've been up enjoying the QST 99 this morning on the fresh snow that we had overnight. As soon as I got this into the fresh snow, it felt awesome. It feels like a, a powder ski, but without sacrificing your carving, uh, you kind of still have a great edge hold uh, you know, you still feel like you can kind of ca keep up on the piste with, with all your mates, but then actually go off the side, really enjoy the powder, and just have a great time. In comparison to the previous generation in QST99, uh, that one skied great off-piste, but I, I don't think it had as much on-piste. This, going off-piste, still feels amazing, but actually on-piste, it just feels so much better than it used to. This is kind of going towards that uh, one ski quiver for somebody who is going to explore and want to do a lot of stuff you could put a touring binding on it you, you could just ski it all year and carve and, and you know go off piece and have a great time but you could go further into the backcountry and just really enjoy it i'd sell this ski to someone who is really um, primarily focused on focusing on their off piece but actually still wants to uh, kind of stay with the family or, the, or, or friends or that uh, when they are on piece and, and not feel like they're kind of flapping around